Okay. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your attendance and also thanks to the host for providing this opportunity. And it's my great honor to talk to you today about Chinese game market as well as our company, RPCD. Please allow me to do a brief self-introduction before my uh, former before my former presentation. I'm finishing from OPCD with the whole name of Shanghai Oriental Pair Culture Collegiate. Uh, as the third Chinese partner cooperating with Microsoft and Sony to officially introduce both Xbox and the PS series into China. Our company, OPCD, is the first player in this market, as well as a major publisher in China with rich experience in this regard. Especially with rich experience of cooperating with Microsoft as our joint joint venture called eHome Entertainment is only one entitled to publishing titles on Xbox in China. And we are really pleased today to share with you some data and information. Yeah, um, thank you Chen Yi from New Zoom because she have introduced some information at first uh, and I will fo focus on the console game. So uh, let's take a bird eyes view on over the um, Chinese game market. According to the official statistics, the entire Chinese game market size had reached IMB 278.7 billion, approximately 42.9 billion US dollar. The population of Chinese players has also exceeded 665 million in 2020 implying a very huge market. And meanwhile, we can also find something interesting that the mobile game has occupied more than 75% of the Chinese game market, where the global number is only 49%. Such a considerable difference mainly results from the console and the PC sector of China. The console, the, cons the console and the PC game industry has been rather matched with a nearly 50% market share on the global market. Yet, its Chinese counterpart only 21.9%. Especially the console game with a poor coverage at only less than 2% up to now. It is really an unsatisfying unsatis figure. But on the other side, it also implies a vast blue sea, especially considering the huge market size and so many players on the Chinese market. Experienced console game publishers like us and the authorities of China all deeply understand that there's a vast field ahead of the Chinese console and PC game industry, where too many Chinese players are yet to get familiar or even get first to touch with the console game. As we all know, that both Microsoft and Sony are going to boost their new generation machine in China, and OPCD will also officially release our cloud enable plan, which I will get more detail later. All these measures mentioned above are believed to bring much energy to the Chinese console and PC game industry, which also means big opportunities for our potential partners like you guys. Now, I'd like to share with you some of suggestions about how to import titles efficiently into the Chinese market. Actually, we can see unprecedented prosperity today on China's entertainment and cultural industry. And the, and the game related authorities are also quite open and willing to introduce popular titles from overseas. There might be some misleading information circulating outside, claiming complicated operation in the game importing business in China. Yet, I'd like to clarify here that it is not the truth. We should be aware that a most important process different with the overseas market is that the publisher should apply for a license for a title before its official launch. Once the license is acquired, the following will be instantly started including technical connection with various platforms as well as 
market activities. Also, the license is classified according to platforms, such as license A for mobile, B for Xbox, C for Switch, D for PS, and E for PC. Therefore, the specific platform should be clearly stated, started without any mistakes when we submit the license application to the authorities. A comment here is that overseas developers or publishers are not allowed to make sure applications by themselves, or make such application by themselves. And they should find their Chinese partners with sound qualifications of publishing game products in China. Our company, OPCD, is a good choice for you in this regard, with enough qualifications and rich experience, as we had many long-term corporations with overseas companies to help them to help their titles acquire license. Of course, this license application are all free as it is an indispensable part of the whole publishing work. As to reviewing the standard by the license orientals, orientators of China, according to our experience so far, we can see the titles with heresy, positive, positive education are more welcomed, where contents concerning eroticism, violence, violence Terror, terrorism or terrifying element are usually required to make revisions. As game company in China are required to do their duties of protect, protect, protecting underage players who occupy a large proportion of Chinese players. Therefore, we'd like to advise necessary amendments to sensitive contents. And usually we will list out the amendment requirements to our overseas partners the first time we, when we do internal review over their titles before formally submitted to the authorities. I'd like to hereby give some typical example of so-called sensitive elements. One, the title should be completely localized. Include, include that all screen language should be simplified Chinese. Two, contents of erotism, gambling, violence, or induced crime is strictly forbidden. Three, terrifying and bloody are not allowed, such as skeleton. We will give much more specific and deeper suggestion of an amendment to developers according to the demo they pro provide when we initially initiate detailed communication with them. As mentioned before, I'd also like to hereby share with you some plans by our company, OPCD. We will kick off our cloud enable plan. In China, the cloud, cloud game is through video streaming technology to make people play games cross device. We set a target of covering over 8 million mobile and TV users in the next three years, providing them with a barrier free access to our console games through the cloud game. To make more people experience high level console game, of course, cloud game might also become another sales channel of console and PC games gradually. Last but not least, please allow me to present some of our successful cases in console game introduction. The first one is FF15. FF15's publishing in China, it is the first console game that was released at the same time with other places. It only took, took three months for us to get the government approval of this game. Many thanks to our client Square Enix cooperation and our colleagues hardworking. We did prepare a lot in advance to make sure the game content meets government's criteria. We held a fabulous, fabulous releasing show in Shanghai Oriental Pearl TV Tower. If you've been to Shanghai, you must know the famous landmark here, where, yes, it belongs to our company. And we invited the CEO of the Square Enix, Mr. Yusuke Matusa, 
Masuda to attend to the show. And uh, the OPJ is the sub company of Shanghai Media Group. We have powerful media resource. That is, is the reason why I am introducing the case of F15 IP related interaction. The OPG also distributed the F15 fi uh, film on big screen in, chi in China. There was also a series of game related animation called Brotherhood, which was distrib distributed on digital platform in China with our help, such as Bilibili and IGE. Besides, lots of related marketing activities were also held, fans show, collaborating activities, a pop-up activity. So expect the Z3A games we also welcome all the India game to China here. Here's another typical title I would like to share with you, The Unruly Heroes. It's a 2D platform ARPG game based on the um, famous Chinese traditional story, Journey to the West. It is produced by Magic Design Studio, a French team, which consists of the former production members of Raymond. We help them to find a local Chinese team helping them translate the original Chinese uh, English voiceover into Chinese. Of course, it was quite well to listen to all the well-known characters speak English instead of Chinese, especially for Chinese players. We did bring the title to lost of people before it was released through China Joy, CCG, and so on. And we had several live streaming uh, stream activities through the biggest games, comic videos, and the live stream channel in, Ch channel in China, Bilibili. And finally, um, here is uh, some tips which might help our publish, help you publish your games in China. And these are also our criteria we would consider first when we want to publish a good title. Firstly, and most importantly, your game must be enough interesting and attractive. Secondly, the game content must meet the requirement of government. No terrifying element, no bad language, no gambling star. Thirdly, if the SRP of your game is under $30, around 20 pounds, we would suggest you publish digital downloadable content only, no physical, as the cost of physical di discs are quite expensive. If the game is good enough, we could suggest you sell it in token instead of physical discs. Firstly, you want to catch the global releasing date, you must provide the build at least six to eight months earlier for us to do the preparation work. To be honest, if the game is released two, one to two months, months later than other places, the sales would dramatically decline. Fifthly, proper localization. And finally, a quite important pricing rule. Normally, the SRP in China is lower than other prices. Actually, Chinese console game industry is still less developed, suffering from a much late entry into China market. And both Title importing as well as market in exploring are in experiment progress. Furthermore, the, flash, the, the flourishing of mobile games in recent years has also affected the console and the PC sector, and quite a number of discouraged publishers and developers have been shifting to the mobile market. Nevertheless, we OBCD have been focused have been focusing all along on introducing quality console game into China. And it is our firm conviction that the spring of Chinese console and PC game is soon to arrive. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sam. And next, uh, my colleague, John, will help me to do the Q&A. Thank you.
Jim, that was an amazing presentation. Thank you very much for that. It's been a, a while that we've been trying to explore the console market a little bit more in China. Uh, often it's just viewed as a mobile only market. So it's really interesting that you've come and, and taken us through the opportunities there. And although it's small, it's growing and, and actually even one or 2% of the Chinese market is still an enormous number um, and a great opportunity for UK and international companies. There's a, a couple of questions that have come, come through. Um, Marco has sent a lovely series of questions. Let's have a look at some of those. Um, he's asked about the uh, approval for an ISBN. So if a game is approved on console, it, can it also be used, that ISBN, to release the game on other platforms such as PC, or do you have to resubmit the game again for each platform? Yeah, sure. Uh, because uh, you know the uh, the license is is different for the uh, the several platforms. Maybe uh, like the if if your game have uh, reached the license for the PS, and you must to get another license for uh, like the Switch. Yeah. So you okay. need uh, yeah several. Wonderful, thank you. And if um, you, you kindly pointed out that your company can secure ISBNs for uh, release in China, which, which is uh, fantastic, but um, are there ways that uh, companies from outside China can secure these? I mean, if they set up an office in China, does that mean they're allowed to become an approved publisher of records so that they can issue ISBNs for their own games? Um, no, because you should have the uh, qualification and uh, you need some um, uh, if you want to uh, be a company to have the um, ability to to uh, to do the um, license from Chinese government, uh, you must um, to um, have the um, to 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 make the agree from the Chinese government. First, you should to uh, make the agree from the government that your company can do these things. But this agree is very difficult. You need you need some you know need some um, yeah something like your. Uh... Uh, in China, generally we call we should get uh, some like something like three certificates. This is the basic or say the fundamental condition that a company should uh, could do the censorship uh, application from the government. So uh, that means first your company should have uh, some uh, basic uh, asset, uh, the the asset of your company or say the, the sales uh, revenue. Uh, should reach to a certain uh, size so that you you are believed to have the ability to do the publishing or to do the uh, censorship application. Uh, not say uh, if you are only a, a new company with a very small size and you have no uh, history record before, uh, it is hard for you to get that approval from the government. So uh, not only this, but also something like uh, you should get license from those uh, uh, authorities uh, who is conducting authority over uh, some uh, uh, telecom uh, carrier uh, functions. Uh, so uh, it's not say uh, you are just a, a small developer and you have only uh, something like um, 20 employees and then you are, you are entitled to get that license. No, it's not that the case. So uh, specifically speaking, there will be a very detailed stipulations or regulations in this regard. And if you are interested in it, maybe we can find another uh, specific topic to, to uh, talk about that. It's it's interesting point. We'll uh, we'll have a further conversation about the requirements. I think the question has come because um, not many games are approved, and and we wonder in the UK whether there is a certain number of applications allowed per company, or are you allowed to put in as many ISBN applications as you want? 
，然后他就说你们如果申请产号的话，就是是不是，呃，有点像你你想申请多少，你就可以去申请多少，还是说你们自己会有一些限制啊，或者这样子 ？OK， so uh the Chinese market is so big, so of course we um want to uh to make more and more, you know, the license for um for the uh many games, yes. Um, but you know, um, we will have to make sure that the wonderful, the interesting, the good game, the perfect title, uh, is the first way to we choose to get into the China. You know, um, because um, some um not bad, not good game, um, maybe the government will <laughs> stop yet. So, mm -hmm. so um, we want we want more and more many games to into China. But we were to uh, talk about talk with them and to choose some uh, good title. Yes, fascinating. Thank you. You mentioned earlier about the price. There's lots of questions for you. I'm sorry. I will try and go through these. There was lots of questions about the price for console games needing to be slightly cheaper on Xbox and PlayStation. So, is there is there an average price for an Xbox or a PlayStation game that is sold in China? 说在那个两个主机平台上面，现在有没有什么？呃，刚刚你前面提到了一些价格，游戏定价的问题。他说有没有什么平均价格的这样的数据可以供他们参考啊？这其实很难讲的。对 ，it's it's it's hard to see. You know, uh, we will to case by case to 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 discuss this question. Okay, because uh, there are no um no rule. Because for example, um, yeah, something like. Uh, there is a big difference between uh, different uh, class uh, classifications of uh, uh, games on both PS and Xbox platforms. I, I, I can just give you some uh, instances. Uh, for example, on our uh, PS uh, Chinese store, uh, those AAA titles like uh, FF15, the price can reach as high as more than uh, 300 RMB. More than three hundred okay. RMB, yeah. But to right. some uh, small indie uh, games, the price should be much cheaper. Something like only around forty or even thirty RMB. So that's a big difference, and it's difficult uh, and not sensible to say an average price. Uh, yeah. Um, we're going to have to to move on to our final speaker today. A um, okay. couple of things for, for you two. Thank you for the very informative presentation. If you can have a look at the Q&A, there are some questions in there that you might want to answer, questions around targets for installed bases and the kind of games that would appeal in the Chinese market. Please feel free to answer the questions in there so that we can keep our audience happy. But thank you again for your presentation. And uh, I look forward to connecting lots of UK and European uh, developers and publishers to you going forward. So. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sam. Thank you.